I do have to say that 5.30 a.m. is a dark and lonely place. <laughs> Got up on time, as I'd hoped. Um, a little bit of snoozing, but anyways. And now I'm literally on to coat number three from the last few weeks. I mean, it started off with just like my three-quarter length uh, sleeve jean jacket, then moved on to like my long sleeve, long, like trench coaty type type thing. And now today I'm on to not far off from a winter coat. It's five degrees outside. So it's going to be one of those things. Working at this time, it's going to be like dressing for winter in the morning and then trying to dress for like spring-ish in the afternoon. It's a really hard balance to get. Uh, I mean, the joys of Canadian weather. I'm leaving the camera at home today because Jillian's got some sort of like anime convention comic-con thing to go to so she wants to take the camera to get a bit of footage so hopefully she'll be home when I get home from work and I won't be cameraless for a few hours but anyways so the next stuff you see should be interesting oh my god I just got home from work holy crap holy crap I'm tired <laughs> unbelievable how much like obviously how big of a difference it is to have to be at work for 8 a.m. instead of like 12 30 I mean obviously it's a big change but holy cow I didn't think I'd be this tired we spent the first like three hours of or I spent the first three hours of my shift not really doing anything because our systems were going through an update and I guess because I wasn't doing anything by like 8.30, I was at my desk and just kind of like, <laughs> just, uh, just ready to sleep. Ready to sleep. Anyways, now I'm home. I'm waiting for Jillian to come home. She forgot the camera. Hence why she's not here, but the camera is. Um, so probably won't be any footage at all from her uh, anime convention thing that she went to. So I'm just going to make myself dinner. I don't know what I want to make. I make these like homemade chicken strip things that are actually nice and healthy, but I feel like just a sandwich. <laughs> so I'm too lazy to actually cook because I'm that tired. I'll make the chicken strips for dinner tomorrow, and then Jillian doesn't like them, so she can just make herself her pasta thing that I always have in the freezer for her in case I feel like making something that I like that she doesn't. I always have a backup plan. She likes sandwiches, so when she gets home, she can make herself, or let's, let's be real. I'll make her a sandwich. I don't want to get off the couch. But I have to. So I will. Because I'm starving and I need to eat something. Something smells funny in the house. That's going to drive me crazy because now I'm going to have to look for it and figure out what it is. I can't even figure out what the smell is. Just something, just something doesn't, you know, you know the smell of your own house. You do. I mean, you smell something that's just not quite right. You may not be able to figure out what it is, or put your finger on it, but something smells like, oh. <laughs> Someone's trying to get in the door and can't. And she's home. What are you doing with those? Oh, because drinks were really expensive, but then we ended up buying one anyways. So I filled them up with Coke and I gave one to Ashley and I So you brought, you had, you brought two of them with you? Like, on the bus and, and everything, then, both hands know, full. Oh no, uh, Ashley's dad drove us. Oh, so he came to pick you up. Oh, that's cool. And you know what they told us? No food or drink allowed in the convention. You have to finish it right now. So we had to chug these things. And then what'd you do with them? We put them in Ashley's bag. Oh my god. Do you want to see what I got? Also, spent $10 on food that made me feel extremely sick after. Like, I'm not happy. I could have actually bought things. Ashley was nice enough to buy me to give money towards my socks for my cosplay and buy Well, doesn't she owe you money anyways for the wig? She owes you $15 for the oh, wig. Oh yeah, she did! And guess what I found? <laughs> Mizzo hiding under a chair with a gum wrapper. Where did you... <laughs> Mizzo. Okay. I'm gonna lose a finger. Please don't hurt me. Please. Okay, good. Hey! You're becoming more used to paper being taken away from you. That's good. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Now he's gonna search and sniff. Oh. No, he left that in my purse. My glasses are out of my purse. Oh, speaking of. What? Speaking of. He pulled this and Jillian's glasses out of her bag. Speaking of, what you know where I found him this morning while I was getting ready?
ready to leave, because as she called me, she's like, over here. I'm like, okay, go down. Looking for my purse. It's not on the table. Then I hear rustling. Mizzo's inside my purse trying to get my gum. Inside, halfway in. That's like Aunt Michelle when she was here, and he, like, burrowed through her bag and threw everything out of her bag looking for the mint something. I mean, he obviously doesn't know it's gum, but he's got an obsession with mint, and it's it's just... It's weird. So I stopped at the store after work today to pick up some coffee because I was completely out of my coffee for my for my Tosmo. So <laughs> I bought coffee and so I'm putting it in my little coffee holder thing that I've got. And as soon as I open the package and I take one of the boxes and open it and start putting the coffees in, I'm like, I did the same frigging thing last time I bought coffee. I keep forgetting that I already have coffees up there from last time two times ago that i bought some and they didn't fit in my thing like what a waste of money this is the third time now that i buy coffee when i already had some meanwhile i'm going like three or four days with no coffee i'm like i gotta go to the store and buy some all the while i had some right up there piss me off Anyways, lunches are made for tomorrow. Jillian is in the shower and then she's gonna be heading to bed. I'm gonna be heading to bed. It's getting late and I gotta go to bed early. I'm actually tired this time, which means I should be able to fall asleep when I put my head on my pillow or within an hour at least. So anyways, that's it for tonight. Bye.